Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna and I hope you're all doing very well. As you can tell from the title today, we are going to be doing another collaboration video with my wonderful friend Brittany at Born Blushing. And yeah, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. For those of you that are returning subscribers, thank you so much. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you that watches my videos. And for those of you that are new here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in luxury, skincare, fragrance, and makeup content. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay guys, so my friend Brittany at Born Blushing came up with another great idea for us to do a collaboration video on, and that is to share with you guys what our top five La Mer products are. And it has been very difficult to say the least. I thought it wasn't gonna be, but it ended up being quite difficult because I just really enjoy all of the products that I use from La Mer. And so yeah, but if I had to only pick five, you guys, these are my top five. So to give you guys a little bit of background on our skin types, um, I am very, very oily, like extremely oily. So I'm, I get very oily throughout this sort of region of my face, not so much on the sides, just like forehead and down sort of the center parts of my face. Very, very oily, I'm very dehydrated. I live in a very dry climate. And so, yeah, that is what I deal with. I also deal with, you know, acne every now and then, not so much anymore, but you know, I still get the occasional breakout. Um, as far as Britney's skin goes, I believe she is more on the like normal to dry side and she's like half a decade younger than me. So, you know, I'm probably dealing with a little bit more anti-aging concerns than her at this stage. Although, you know, we're both into anti-aging skincare. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit of sort of background on just what we're trying to target and our skin types and how they sort of work with the Lemire products. So also I just wanted to quickly apologize for this whole new filming setup. I had to change where I was gonna film today because because we had a little scheduling hiccup and baby is asleep where I normally film. And so yes, I had to readjust, but we're here now. So you guys, um, how this sort of video is gonna go down is I'm going to be showing you how the product applies and all that. And I'll be talking about the claims on the website. You know, I'll, maybe I'll go into a little bit of the ingredients, um, how it works for me, the scent, the texture, just all of that good stuff. So yeah, you guys, let's dive into my number five out of my top five. All right, you guys, so coming in at number five, we have the cleansing gel. So I really wanted to include a cleanser in this, you guys, to give you sort of a variety of products. Um, I could have picked any any other product, honestly, from La Mer, but I wanted to tell you about this cleanser because it is honestly one of the best cleansers I've ever used. I'm already on my second bottle of this, so you guys know I really do love it. So what this product says on the website is it is a gentle foaming gel cleanser that draws out impurities, excess oil and pollutants with a refreshingly light touch. Some of the key ingredients are of course the Miracle Broth, the deconstructed waters, and tourmaline. And then we have sort of like a host of very um, similar oils that I've noticed throughout the range of La Mer products. Um, we have aloe vera leaf juice, we have oat kernel extract, algae, sesame seed, alfalfa seed, sunflower, sweet almond oil, and uh, eucalyptus oil. So those are some of the key ingredients in this one. And just to give you guys a little background on the Miracle Broth that is in all of the La Mer products, it says the Miracle Broth is the potent anti-irritant that defines every La Mer treatment. Crafted with a blend of sea kelp, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients, Miracle Broth undergoes three to four months of fermentation and exposure to light and sound waves, unlocking the renewing power that makes La Mer's benefits unmistakable. And to give you a background on deconstructed waters, we have deconstructed waters are utilizing the physics of electrical and magnetic energy fields. Our creation process enhances the simple structure of water. And tourmaline is a semi-precious gemstone found in nature known for its energizing properties. So some interesting little tidbits on the La Mer website about the cleansing gel. But overall, you guys, what I really, really love about this product is it is such a gentle gel cleanser. I mean, it truly is very gentle. And that's one of the things that I really love about La Mer in general is it just is just that their products are so gentle, but they're so effective. And so what I really like, as you'll see when I'm applying this is it is a very lightly foaming cleanser. It's very light and it's just very soft and plush. And when you're massaging it into your skin, it just really 
feels luxurious, it feels soft, it feels gently foaming, and it never, never feels stripping on my skin. In fact, when I first used this product, I almost thought that there was some sort of softening water aspect to it. I don't know if I ever brought that up before, um, but it just feels like when I'm rinsing it off, my water, which by the way is very hard here where I live, it just seems like the water somehow softens with the product. I just feel like my skin is a lot softer than it was and it just feels cleansed um, but not stripped and so that's why I really enjoy this cleanser for the morning time even and also as a double cleanse I think it works great for both. Um, I don't feel like it's too harsh in the morning for somebody who has oily skin like me. I think it's perfectly fine and I just feel like it really does a great job and so that's why I've continued to repurchase it. So yes, number five out of my top five has to be the cleansing gel. All right, you guys, coming in at number four, we have the Replenishing Oil Exfoliator. You're probably wondering why I included this in my top five, but you guys, this is hands down one of the best exfoliators I have ever tried. If you guys have been watching me for some time, you know I really, really do love the Velmont one as well, but I've heard that they've since reformulated it and it's nowhere near as gritty and exfoliating as it once was, which is a shame. So I've moved on. I have, I still have quite a bit left of my jar that I have of the Velmont, but I've moved on and I really, really love this exfoliator from La Mer. So what this says on the website is it's a detoxifying emulsion of precious marine oils and pearl powders that cleanses, purifies, and hydrates. Visibly hydrated skin purifies and draws out pollution. So what this says on the La Mer website is it is a melting gel oil that refines, exfoliates, and replenishes. Some of the key ingredients we have here are again the miracle broth. We have a sea salt and sugar crystal combination for the scrubby bits and sea kelp fibers. Um, we also have some jojoba, we have mango seed butter, we have algae extract, sesame seed, alfalfa, sunflower, the general cocktail of oils that I just mentioned, and eucalyptus leaf oil, diamond powder, and spirulina, algae, kelp extract, so a host of beautiful extracts in this product, as well as some wonderful oils to give it a glorious slip. And um, so yes, as you'll see right now, it's a little bit thick, which is nice. Um, but what I really, really love about this is that it is extremely gritty, but at the same time, because it's suspended in this sort of oily, gel-like texture, it's very easy to smooth on the skin. And I feel like I can just massage this forever. Um, I don't ever feel like I just wanna get it off. Sometimes I find that with some exfoliators, you start to massage it and after a while you just want to get it off your face because you've been sort of massaging it enough and your face face kind of feels a little bit raw. I never really feel like that with this. I feel like I can really go in and scrub and scrub and scrub and it just never feels too overly gritty. But what I really, really enjoy about this product is when you rinse it off, it rinses absolutely clean. There's no sort of film left over, which I find with the Valmont, I have to go in with another cleanser to sort of get that film off. Whereas with this product, I feel like it rinses very cleanly and it also makes my skin feel very, very hydrated afterwards. So it definitely doesn't feel stripping on my skin. I think because of those oils, it just feels absolutely you know a dream to apply and remove and it just makes my skin feel like baby smooth when i'm done absolutely baby smooth um i use this product maybe twice a week up to three times at the very most but generally i use it twice a week especially if i'm going to be you know putting on a full face of makeup i always use this product because i know my foundation and all my base products are going to lay down much better and just it's going to give me an overall better look to my makeup when my skin is nice and polished and so yeah i just absolutely love this product you guys and i'm going to keep repurchasing it because of just how amazing my skin feels after I use this product. And yeah, it smells absolutely divine as well. I didn't want to forget that. It smells very spa-like. Yeah, it just has this really beautiful, it, it definitely has like an oily smell to it because it does have those oils, 
but it just smells like a very spa-like oil to me and it's just gorgeous. So yeah, you guys, um, I wanted to point out that uh, Brittany told me that you can actually mix this with the cleansing lotion, which I also have. If you want sort of like a lighter exfoliation or more of like a daily exfoliation, you can mix this with that. And so you're not getting like that extreme sort of like abrasiveness that you would with this, which by the way, I don't know if I mentioned or if you noticed, but I applied this onto my dry skin, which is what I like to do because when I really want to go in there and exfoliate and get all the little bits of dead skin and all that off, I really like to go in with dry skin. Um, to me, that is just the, you know, using this product to its maximum potential is going in on dry skin. For someone like me who has strong, thick skin, I think, you know, it works great. If you're somebody who has sort of more thin and fragile skin, I wouldn't recommend that just because, you know, you don't want to be giving yourself too many of those micro tears. Um, but yeah, uh, I just, I just a truly amazing product. And uh, yeah, I will continue to repurchase this because it is just such a great product. And I love having this in my routine. The replenishing oil exfoliator coming in at number four. All right, you guys, then coming in at number three, we have the Genesance, the Infused Lotion. Now, this is such a beautiful, beautiful product. I, okay, I'm gonna explain why this is in my top five. So let's go into some of the claims and the breakdown of what this product does. So we have a unique cream infused watery lotion becomes pure velvet on the skin. Infused with crystal miracle broth, skin is primed to receive the power of the Genesis de la Mer collection. It accelerates the skin's natural renewal, it hydrates, softens, and nourishes. It has sea-sourced energies that nourish and strengthen. It primes the skin for the entire Genesis de la Mer collection and is a cream-infused watery lotion. So some of the key ingredients we have here are the crystal miracle broth, filler ferment, and the Genesis ferment. So I wanted to go into some of the um, sort of details about the Genesis, the crystal miracle broth. So, so what they did was they found these crystals forming in the beaker where the miracle broth was fermenting, and that those crystals are what is infused into the whole Genesis line. And so it's supposed to be much more energizing, and it's supposed to help accelerate the skin renewal better than any, you know, of the other products that contain just a regular miracle broth. That is what the crystal miracle broth is all about. And, and then as far as the Genesis ferment, this particular ferment is crafted with red algae. It also has 24 karat gold infused in it with waves of light, which is supposed to help boost the skin's natural collagen production. And yeah, just overall a sort of amped up version of the regular ferment that they use in the La Mer products. So going back to some of the ingredients now that you know what those, the miracle, the crystal miracle broth and the filler ferment are, um, some of the key ingredients in the Genesis infused lotion are um, all those oils that I mentioned, the sunflower alfalfa, there's seaweed. This also contains lime peel extract. We have everlasting extract, cranberry fruit extract. So um, there's definitely a lot more extracts in this. There's yeast extract, a bunch of other extracts that the Genesis line has that the normal line doesn't have. And so you're just getting a little bit more of a boost and just more benefits for your skin overall. And so what I absolutely love about the Genesis Infused Lotion is that it is the most nourishing sort of it lotion that I've ever tried. Um, I really, really love the treatment lotion that, you know, hands down is definitely one of my favorite products from La Mer. But if I had to pick between the treatment lotion and the Genesis Infused Lotion, I would just, I would say I'd have to go with this one because it's a little bit more unique. Um, the treatment lotion, I feel like while it is amazing and I love it, uh, I feel like I could find something sort of comparable to that. In fact, um, the new product that came out from Sarah DeRue uh, with, in collaboration with Gothamista Renee here on YouTube um, feels very similar to the treatment lotion from La Mer. So those two products, I'll put a picture here so you can see. I recently tried that product and it's it's very similar to the treatment lotion. So I just feel like the Genesis is a little bit more unique. The texture of this, you guys, is 
absolutely divine. I've never felt anything like this. It literally feels like you're putting liquid velvet on your skin. And I I don't really know how they were able to come up with a texture like this because it's truly something I've never tried before. It just feels like you're putting something on your skin that is so incredibly soft and it just, it's amazing. So yeah, one of the things that I love about this is of course the texture. It feels absolutely divine and luxurious. Another thing that you might not have noticed from my application part is that this is actually a two-phased product and so you actually have to infuse it and so by doing that you're essentially mixing the two products together inside and so it becomes like as you'll see a sort of milky milky liquid so how i use this product i only use this at night and one of the things that i absolutely love about it is that when i'm in a hurry which is very often with these two little ones i have Sometimes I just don't have time to do an entire routine. I just don't. And so what I'll do is I'll cleanse my skin and I'll throw on a toner and then I will literally just put the Genesance Infused Lotion on and I'm good to go. Like my skin feels absolutely hydrated, moisturized. It feels nourished. It just feels like I don't need to put anything else on. And so if you're somebody who is oily like me, and you want a quick routine at night, I truly feel that the Genesance Infused Lotion is enough moisture for me at night and my skin feels totally fine after I use that. You know, when I, when I cleanse my skin at nighttime, I'm cleansing off all of the makeup and all the grime from the day. So my skin generally feels sort of more of that like squeaky clean feel at night as opposed to the morning time. And so it tends to feel a little bit tight after I'm cleansing just because of how dry, you know, the air is here. And so what I love about the Genesance is that, like I said, I can throw on a toner and the Genesance and I'm totally fine and that's it. And my skin does not feel tight anymore. It just feels absolutely moisturized, nourished, and just wonderful and yeah so um the scent you guys on this is also really 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 gorgeous it's it's just it just has like a very again spa like scent to it um it has a slight different scent than the la mer like the main line but it's nothing like overpowering none of the la mer products to me i find are overpowering in terms of their you know fragrance aspect i generally don't like products to be too fragrant that I'm going to be putting on my face and if it is fragranced I want it to kind of dissipate rather fast and I find that with La Mer that happens pretty quickly so yeah I, I have no concerns over the fragrance aspect I think it's a gorgeous scent that, that I like to enjoy when I'm applying it and it sort of just disappears very quickly so yeah you guys I just cannot praise this product enough so if there's a if there's one product that you would like to try from la mer and you're looking to incorporate it into your nighttime routine as somebody who's oily like me i would say try this definitely don't use this during the day because i think you're gonna it's gonna be a little bit too much for you if you're somebody who's oily if you're somebody who's dry you could probably get away with using this you know instead of using the treatment lotion at all you could just use this as your sole lotion but for me i like to use this as at night because for me, like I said, if I'm in a rush, I can just throw this on and, and be good to go. So yeah, I love this product, you guys. Yep. So this comes in at number three. So coming in at number two might be a little bit of a surprise, but it's actually the original Creme de la Mer cream, the moisturizing cream. And so... As some of you may know, if you've watched my channel, I was really, really into using the soft cream for a while. I thought it was doing an excellent job. And then um, one day, I think Brittany and I were talking and she said that she really enjoyed the regular one. And so it got me sort of thinking like, maybe I should try some of the samples that I had because I had tons of little, little samples of the original cream. So I tried it one night um, and it was really interesting because I felt like the original Creme de la Mer was just so much more nourishing and it actually felt much more cooling to the to the skin when I would put it on and so ever since then I've actually preferred the original cream and now I know why it's such a coveted product because for some reason it just when I when I apply it it just feels so much more soothing than the soft cream so yeah ever since I've tried it I just haven't gone back to the soft cream so I mean does does the cream really need much more of an explanation? This is just such an iconic product and it's just an amazing cream. But since we're describing all of the products, I wanted to definitely make sure to include everything that you want to know about the original Creme de la Mer. And so 
What it says is, it is so much more than a moisturizer. With the heart of Miracle Broth, Creme de la Mer helps heal dryness and energizes repair to unlock a world of rejuvenation. You will achieve a lifted look, a firmer feel, and anti-aging transformation. It helps heal dryness, keeps skin feeling soft, supple, and smooth. It enhances elasticity for a resilient look, visibly diminishes global lines and wrinkles, smooths the look of visible redness and irritation. And so, uh, some of the key ingredients we have here are, of course, Miracle Broth. We have lime tea, algae extract. We have a host of the same oils that I mentioned. We have lime peel extract, sesame seed, eucalyptus, alfalfa, sunflower, sweet almond, and just, you know, a host of other ingredients. But so, yeah, you guys, one of the main differences, though, between the original Creme de la Mer and the soft cream is that, as you'll see, the original cream, you have to warm up between your fingers. If you don't already know, I'm sure you do, um, but it's a much more thick cream and you only need a very, very little bit. So a little goes a very long way with this cream. And so you just take a very small amount and you warm it up between your fingers and then you press it into your skin. And yeah, when I use this, I only use this at nighttime. I do not use this during the day because it would just be a little bit too heavy for me. Although this is an excellent, cream to use under makeup it works extremely well and i know a lot of makeup artists out there love using the original cream under makeup just because it is just such a wonderful texture under makeup and makeup just lays so nicely on top of it so if you're somebody who has dry skin i think this is just a fantastic moisturizer to use you know day and night and you'll ensure that your makeup looks beautiful throughout the day what i love about this product you guys is that it is just so good at keeping my skin moisturized throughout the night. Like when I wake up in the morning, my skin is just so moisturized and it's just so soothed and nourished. And I just feel like it's a great product to protect the skin and keep it the keep the moisture locked in all day and night if you use it you know during the day as well and it's especially good for people that live in dry climates because it protects against you know things like transepidermal water loss and just all the things that you know the dry climate will do to your skin it protects against so of course that means it's going to help prevent fine lines because your skin is going to be kept moisturized and yeah i mean what more can i really say about this product it's it's definitely Definitely earned its place in the beauty world. As far as the scent goes, it has the iconic La Mer scent, which I find to be very, very soothing and just spa-like again. That's what I love about the La Mer products is all of their products smell so spa-like and just, just really, really light and yeah, I, I absolutely love the La Mer scent. I've heard people complain that it smells a little bit like old to them, but I personally don't think it smells old at all. I think it just smells like a beautiful cream. Should smell. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that might come as a little surprise since you guys have seen me use the soft cream in the past, but coming in at number two is the original Creme de la Mer. All right, guys, drum roll. <laughs> the number one product from the La Mer lineup in my favorites would have to be the concentrate. And uh, yeah, you guys, I mean, if you have not tried the concentrate, I just cannot recommend it enough. I just, it's just such a wonderful product. It's truly at the core of the La Mer lineup. It's amazing. So if you don't already know about the concentrate, it is a velvet smooth barrier serum, which strengthens and visibly soothes and protects. It is your dual source of strength against daily irritants. It has concentrated miracle broth, which is a super potent form of their powerhouse elixir, which helps to visibly calm skin so it can focus on natural renewal. The skin is visibly stronger, soothed, and stabilized. It visibly soothes signs of irritation that may lead to premature aging. It helps to lock in hydration for a smoother, softer feel. It has high-powered antioxidant protection and a velvety texture. And uh, the key ingredients we have here are concentrated miracle broth, lime tea extract, 
extract, we have the stabilizing ferment, and again, the host of the same oils and other ingredients that I mentioned previously. What is so interesting about this product is, again, it's the texture. It has such a beautiful texture. It is something so unique. I have never felt anything like this in any other skincare product before. Uh, and so that is why it is my number one pick. It's just, it's just incredibly amazing and unique. And so uh, what, I, what I particularly love about this product though, you guys, is its ability to heal the skin. And that is truly at the core of the La Mer lineup, I feel. You know, they're all about healing the skin. So if you are not familiar with the story behind La Mer, I would highly recommend looking into it. It's a very, very interesting story and it just goes to show that their products really do um, heal the skin and that's really at the core of what La Mer is all about and so the concentrate I feel like is is truly that sort of centerpiece to your La Mer uh, routine and so what I love about the concentrate so much is that it is a product that I that I can see work immediately and by that I mean when I use it I see redness visibly diminished so any redness that I have around my nose or just anywhere on my face it is visibly diminished when I use the concentrate um, another thing I love it for and probably my top reason why I use it is it heals the skin so incredibly well. The, the whole sort of ethos behind La Mer is it was created to heal the scars from burns. And so if you have any scarring on your face, whether it be from just, you know, a, a simple little pimple that you want to prevent the hyperpigmentation from in the healing process to, you know, even a, a more severe scar, like if you burned yourself on your, you know, let's say you were curling your hair and, you know, you accidentally hit your face with the curling iron, which I'm sure many of us have done. Anything like that, it's going to heal it. I've even used this on other parts of my body where I had a scar that I wanted to heal quickly. And so, yes, this is truly a product that works. I can tell you it has healed my skin in many ways. Anytime I have a, a, a something that needs healing, whether, like I said, it's just a pimple or something, I will slap that on there as you'll see. And it prevents me from getting the dark spot that will form uh, as a result of a healing, um, you know, a, a healing wound is really what it is. And so, yeah, um, I, I use this anytime I have anything to heal on my face. You can use this all over as you see. Uh, as just an all-over serum if you have redness. I'm pretty sure this is great for people with rosacea like uh, Brittany. She said that ever since she's been using it, she's noticed her rosacea has been extremely calm and um, her redness is, is greatly diminished. So it truly, truly works, you guys. And so that is why I have to pick it as my number one favorite just because I cannot find anything else on the market that is comparable to it. This will, this will be my second full size or, you know, one ounce bottle. Uh, I've gone through the, the mini size, I've gone through two of the one ounce, and then I have right now a backup of the 1.7 ounce. It's just a product that I don't wanna be without um, because of how well it heals my skin and I just don't have to worry about any you know hyperpigmentation post acne i just don't have to worry about it because of this and so yeah uh for that this just has to go in my number one i haven't even talked about the texture yet you guys this in addition to the genesis infused they both have this very velvety texture that like i said is so unique um the genesis infused lotion feels more of like that liquid velvet whereas the concentrate has this sort of I, I wouldn't say gel, but it has a thicker velvety feel to it. Um, but both of them just feel absolutely amazing on the skin. And yeah, I, I personally do not use this during the day. I used to use it during the day, but I realized I was going through it way too fast. And um, I spoke to a couple of different uh, sales associates and all of them said that you don't need to use this two times a day. In fact, you don't even need to use this every night. And so once I, once I stopped using it every um, morning and night, I just went to using it every night. And then recently I've only been using this sort of in certain areas. I don't feel the need to use this all over anymore. I think because my skin is just it's just in a much better state from using this. And so um, I don't hardly have any redness anymore. And I think it is truly because of this product. So 
this product really works and that's there's really nothing more I need to say about it it is truly a it's sort of like a miracle product I think and and rightly so because it is just so so amazing at healing the skin and for those of you that have compromised barriers from using too many retinol products or what have you, get yourself a little bottle of this because you will see how amazing it is at healing your skin and keeping your skin barrier intact and uncompromised. So, and the scent of the concentrate, you guys, it has like this sort of rosemary scent to it, I wanna say. Yeah, it definitely smells a little bit like rosemary. So you know there's, there's some essential oils in here and, but it's a very, very soft and soothing sort of um, essential oil smell to it. It's very, very soft. It's not strong or anything. It doesn't overpower. And again, like all the La Mer products, I don't feel like their fragrance lingers at all. And I don't feel like this is a fragrance product. I feel like what you're smelling is just from the ingredients. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. So yeah, you guys, that sums up my top five favorite products from La Mer. Just to recap, we have the cleansing gel coming in at number five. Then we have the replenishing oil exfoliator coming in at number four. Then coming in at number three, we have the Genesis infused lotion. Coming in at number two, we have the original creme de la mer. And in the number one spot again, you guys, the concentrate. So yeah, you guys, I hope that gives you an idea of what products I would most certainly repurchase again from La Mer and have repurchased. And like I was saying in the beginning of this video, you know, I could have picked, I mean, several other products that I use. I just really thought hard about it. And, you know, while I do really love the treatment lotion, like I said, I feel like there are sort of comparable products out there. Um, I also love the tonic, which is their toner, but you know, I, I also really love the Sicily floral toning lotion. So I feel like I could sort of get away with not getting the tonic again, and I'd be happy with the Sicily. What else? There's, there's also some serums that I've tried and loved. You know, I've, I've repurchased the hydrating serum many times. I just feel like I go through it very, very quickly. And and there's also, I, I also really do love the regenerating serum. I could have picked a few other products for my top five, but these, after thinking long and hard, I would have to say are my top five. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and do not forget to head over to Brittany's video after if you are watching mine first, I will leave it linked down below. Uh, she will definitely have some more products to share with you guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to comment down below. I would love to know what your top five from La Mer are if you are a La Mer lover. I would also love to know if you use another skincare brand, but mainly use only one brand. I would love to know what brand that is and also what your top five from that brand are because I love learning about new skincare. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope if any of you are interested in La Mer that this gives you sort of an idea of what products you might want to try if you have a similar skin type to me and yeah so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video take care bye <laughs>